Mr. Chairman, I, I just, I know we had a very contentious hearing on this bill, and I know if we vote yes on the bill, we'll have a very contentious day on the floor of the House. Um, I also know my, my colleagues, who I love very much, like Chairman King, think they're helping with this committee substitute, and I appreciate that um, desire to help. But uh, as Representative Bernal has, has said, this is putting a velvet glove around our hate. Um, or as my mother would say, it's putting lipstick on a pig. It's still a pig, though. It's still codifying the non-inclusive UIL policy that we currently have. It's still elevating this hateful rhetoric to the House floor. It's still giving oxygen to this absurd and dangerous debate. It's still tarnishing our state's reputation with people and businesses around the country, around the world. Um, by voting this bill out of committee, we are continuing to waste precious, precious legislative time. There will be amendment after amendment on the floor from both sides of the aisle, and there is no way to prevent this bill from becoming worse on the floor or in conference. And so I urge my colleagues to put this to bed now. I know many of you don't like this bill, because you tell me you don't like this bill, but you think this is a compromise. But if history has taught us anything, it's that you can't compromise with hate. And at least, um, at least Representative Hefner, when he was here as the House bill author, he believed in what he was pushing. This is cynical. It's craven. Every witness during this hearing, including the bill author, could not name a single documented case of a trans athlete causing a problem on a sports team in Texas. Not a single one. This is a manufactured problem. The only reason we're doing this is because certain Republican legislators, not on this committee, I'll add, but some of our Republican colleagues want to brag to their far-right primary voters that they hurt trans kids. It's the same voters who think the election was stolen, the same voters who are pushing us to waste time on these culture war issues. There's no other purpose to this bill than to hurt kids. And I didn't come here to hurt kids, and I don't think any of you came here to hurt kids. If we vote for this bill, I fear it'll be a stain that we can't remove. It'll be enough to tarnish the good name of this committee. It'll be enough to overshadow the good work we did last session. I know we all have to vote on our conscience, and I pray for forgiveness for this committee and for the members on this committee that I love very much. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Any further discussion? Dr. Gonzalez. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, I want to say thank you to the committee for really taking our time to listen to this very important topic that impacts so many young people's lives. I, I do want to um, say for, the again, the House, that we work to, like, together to make sure that the bill doesn't get any worse than it is, uh, than, you know, the impact. I think that Representative King has worked really hard to make sure the bill is a different version than SB 29. I think it'll take all of us to maintain it not going, you know how things can happen on the floor, to maintain it from going even in a farther direction than we know that it should. Um, I am asking for the leadership to think through um, conference group committees and making sure that those um, that, that we have people who are representative of the public education space and the voices that we heard. Um, I, represent, I agree with everything Representative Tallarico said. You know, this is a solu solution looking for a problem. We already have the rules. We don't need this piece of legislation. The consequences of the legislation could go literally off the rails, and that's not going to be helpful to the House, to the future, and most importantly, to kids. And so with that, because of the dynamics of the legislature in this moment, I, I would hope that we, we take the full picture in, into consideration and, and consider voting no. Okay. Yeah, Chair recognizes Representative Pinal. Thank you, Chair. Um, as usual and often, um, Rep. Tellerico and Rep. Gonzalez always say what I want to say better than I ever would or could, and I'm sure a lot of you share that sentiment. No offense. Um, but I, I also just I want to talk to you guys just about what we're doing here. Um, we don't have to do this. There's no reason. And there's 
and if you think about the repercussions, what, how bad can they possibly be? And is coming back here, which seems to be the sort of golden egg, right? That's, that seems to be the big prize. If I don't do it, I can't come back. Well, so what? If, if that's the biggest problem in our life relative to all the problems we hear, your life's really good. And is the price, is the cost worth it? Right? Is, is coming back worth the harm that we know we're going to cause? I would, if I knew I could protect kids or give them health care or whatever it might be, and that was the cost, if I had to give up my seat to do that, that's not a bad trade. We don't have to do anything. We're grown-ups. And the, and the other thing is this. Remember that how is it that we would have to do this, but we very comfortably voted against accessible playgrounds a day ago? <laughs> Why isn't that the one that hangs heavy on our hearts and our head? I just don't get it. I'm not, I'm not criticizing. I'm not calling any, anyone out publicly. I'm not going after you personally. I'm just saying we know the harm that it can cause, good intentions notwithstanding. And I understand that. I just, I just don't think it's worth it. And in this, trust me, as someone who's had a very hard time passing bills, it's okay that a bill dies. That's okay. It's part of the process. And I just, what's the worst that could possibly happen? Because we know what happens if we do it. And I just, I just don't think it's worth it. So with that, Chair, I, I appreciate the time and I appreciate the attention of my colleagues. Thank you. Any further discussion, members? Representative Mesa. Did that come on? Thank you, Chairman. Um, I heard this bill presented and under that this is simply codifying uh, what UL already has. And, but there's some things that just don't need to be codified. Uh, I think this is better left as it is. Uh, uh, as UL, uh, UIL has it, for us, there's no need for us to codify it. And by doing that, uh, to add to the analogies that Tallarico made, that it's kind of like making it a wolf in sheep's clothing. Thank you. Any further discussion, members? Not hearing any. Um, Representative uh, Chairman King moves that Senate Bill 29, as substituted, be reported favorably to the full House with a recommendation that it do pass and be printed. Clerk will call the roll. Vice Chair Lozano? Aye. Allen? Allison? Aye. Bell? Yes. Bernal? No. Buckley? Yes. Gonzalez? No. Huberty? King? Yes. Mesa? No. Tallarico? No. Van Dever? Yes. Dutton? Present. Bells. Senate Bill 29 fails to pass, and the committee stands adjourned.